What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Skinny Pedal Motorsports. This is part two of the turbo build. I showed you all my turbo and all where I want to put everything. Part two is what machine I'm going to use, what skills, and what I'm going to try to learn how to do. And as you can see over there in the background, I got a brand new TIG welder. Going to do a quick unboxing and show you what I got to use and what you need to use a TIG welder. Anyways, let's hop right into unboxing that TIG welder and I'll show you what I got. Box one. This is in box one. This is the main reason I bought this TIG welder. This is a TIG welder for under a thousand dollars with a CK Worldwide. I think it's like a CK 17 torch, which is the big buying factor for me. I did a lot of research trying to figure out which ones I wanted, and this is the big, the big thing for me. It's the torch. As you can see, it's a CK 17 Worldwide torch. Also, in the other box, conversion plug to 220. This looks like a finger control for the TIG torch. You can see consumables. You got a tungsten, a couple tips, and the uh, back half of the torch. That's all for box one. Got another box in here. I don't know if I can get it out. This thing's a little hard to get out of here. Box two. Oh, actually, I lied, guys. This box one. Also, another reason I picked this uh, welder, this foot pedal. I have a couple friends who take weld, and they said that this foot pedal, like this, this style, is a lot better than the other one. It's got like this little silver pedal that you kind of push down instead of this rocker style. Something to clean my welds with. Mask. <laughs> I really think this is going to work really well. Just kidding. If you know anything about TIG welding, then you know that you got a filler rod in your left hand or right hand and you got the torch in your other hand so i think this is just like a safety precaution <laughs> thing for the box y'all hear my wife laughing in the background that's for me yeah that's for my wife to watch me take weld but you can see it does come with the lens and whatnot but yeah you can't obviously you can't take weld with this and then not gonna happen so you got your next up stick electrode looks pretty solid i really like i said i don't really know much about welding but i'm fixing to learn but from the people i've talked to this seems to be pretty good that's your grounding clamp um this looks like your argon supply feed Last but not least, you got your regulator. So yeah, I was correct. That is your argon uh, feed. And you got your regulator. That's the final bits and pieces, I guess accessories, whatever you want to call it. Let's dig that welder out. Oh yeah. So, as you can see, this is a magnificent unit. Got a whole bunch of buttons I don't know anything about, but I'm going to have to learn. It's an AC-DC unit, so I can weld aluminum with it. That was another big thing I wanted. Um, it costs $7.75. Uh, you can get them at primeweld.com. This is a 225 AC-DC TIG. But yeah, this thing is pretty heavy. So, had to run to the trusty old Harbor Freight and pick us up a cart. We're going to unbox that right quick and get this thing set on a cart and get everything set up. And I'll show you the final piece you need to have, you know, have a TIG water that you can use.
reassemble cart from Harbor Freight. And the last thing you'll need is compressed argon. I'm gonna put that on there right quick. You'll see how well it fits. As you can see, the argon fits pretty good on there. Next, we're gonna try the welder, see how it fits. I'd say it fits pretty good. It's on there. Next up, we're gonna get all the controls hooked to it and get everything kind of where I want it to be on this cart. So yeah, we got everything in place where it needs to go. Uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with the cart. Um, it definitely holds what I need it to. And uh, I think it'll suffice for what I'm gonna use it for, which is I wanna learn how to TIG weld. I've never TIG welded, hardly ever welded in my entire life, so I figured I'd just jump in head first. I'm gonna watch some of the fabrication series, uh, Weldmonger, and you know, just look at the Instagram hashtag, uh, was it weld art? I'm gonna figure this out, but yeah, you can see where how everything works on this cart with the prime weld. You can hop on, like I said, primeweld.com, pick this welder up. I mean, it'll do for what I'm trying to do. Um, we'll switch it on right quick, make sure everything works, and then that'll pretty much be the end. So I imagine this this uh, first startup is kind of like the first time you ever started your car. You know, if you did a swap. That first startup was pretty satisfying. Let's find out. This fan's about to as loud as my car. So that means it must keep pretty cool. I know the welding current here is on the front. Turn it up. I got the uh, I got the 220 conversion plug plugged in right now. I'm gonna put a 220 in over there at some point. But yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I think it's going to turn out to be a pretty good welder. I paid, like I said, $775 for it. It's really affordable. I think I got like $250 in the Argon. Um, I got like $80 or $90 in the car. So, yeah, I'm somewhere around $1,000 for a TIG setup, which is, in my opinion, is not that bad. Um, yeah, you can spend a lot more, but if you want to learn, I think you should kind of get the things cheap so that way you're not, you know, you don't have a lot of sunk costs. But, anyways, y'all know the message. If you ain't on a break, you better be on a skinny pedal, son. We out of here.